This is Pex Beginner's Guide of Neo, Chapter 25, Resentment Unleashed. Now let's get this started. Alright, so that giant bird you're seeing is the boss that we're going to fight. But uh, we're going to be standing right in front of these bags right there. There's a yokai right here. We're going to use our guardian talisman to summon Suzaku. And I uh, got hit because I don't know what happened right there. I lost my lock on against his yokai. So I'm going to call him Machop Yokai because he's got four arms and he's uh, pretty tough and very dangerous close to combat. So what I keep doing is just using Guardian Talisman to uh, bring down his stamina. Uh, so, But also be careful. Uh, his distant attacks, he does some slashes, does some big damage right there. So get, do the right timing for dodging. When his stamina is at red, keep hitting him until he goes down. Then use Cross Slash and finish him off. Alright, so doing that does uh, take down the barrier that's on the stairs. But before we go up the stairs, we're going to use the Shrine. And we're going to replenish our Omeo Magic along with uh, health and stem, like, etc. etc. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go up these stairs. And before we go inside, we're going to loot this corpse right here and get some items. Alright, we're going to go in. And there's going to be a few uh, revenants are going to wake up and then we're going to see a giant one. We're going to fight him. Uh, use sloth and weakness on him and then also other stuff to prepare. Kekai, carnage, and uh, lightning. Uh, just uh, fight him with a, few, with a few combos. Use a cross slash and then just finish him off. Alright, and then we're going to go through this gate. And within this gate we're going to have two allies that are going to help us out. And that is Shigizane and Masamune, the two bosses that we fought on the first DLC. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, uh, this boss, a giant bird, is named Omoraki. And uh, I, fortunately I was a little late on shooting him before he shot me. But anyway, I'm going to shoot Omoraki right on the horns. Uh, yeah, like literal horns, don't worry. Uh, and we're gonna that breaks down the barrier. Uh, and then we're going to pass all these revenants. And then right inside here, there's two uh, yokais holding a dual sword and a kusurigami. Uh, we're going to avoid him well, and the other one as well. So we go in, uh, go to the left, keep going, go to the right. There's the uh, Machop yokai and a revenant that has a hand cannon. And that was a close one because uh, he would have taken me down. Well, not taken me down, but gave me some damage. But luckily, I had the shrine to help me out with that. But anyway, yeah. Uh, Shigazane and Masamune are here to help me out once again. Uh, they're going to take care of a couple of yokais right here in this area. So once you go a little forward, go back, go into this corner, uh, set up your matchlock, and shoot again Omaraki on the horn. And uh, we're going to quickly wave dash up to avoid the Revenant's hand cannon. And then we're going to go across the bridge. And before we go any further, we're going to go to our dual sword, go to high stance, get ourselves prepared with Kekai, Carnage, and cover our dual sword with lightning. Omaraki is weak against lightning based uh, attacks. And as you see from that edit, I did die from here, but don't worry. So once uh, Omaraki lands, use Sloth and use Weakness. And uh, just wait for him to attack first, and then use the opportunity to use Guardian Talisman to use Suzaku to take down his stamina. And once his stamina is down, now we use the uh, Water Slash, and as you can see, it's taking him a while to recover thanks to the Lightning Talisman that's uh, numbing him down, and yeah, voila, if you have done this correctly, congratulations, you have defeated Omaraki. And, uh, but if he does recover uh, from it, just get back, uh, because he will like, use a uh, Yokai Realm that does major damage to you. So just go back as far as possible, and as soon as he releases his Yokai Realm, go close to him and quickly use uh, Guardian Talisman to repeat the same process. But anyway, uh, go to your inventory, check your armor, check your weapon, check the weight of the armor, check your charm, and if you have any prestige points, use them as much as possible. Alright, and if you ever need to go to the blacksmith besides replenishing your ammo, um, buy some uh, armor, if you need to disassemble and forge along with 
uh, soul merging. All right. If not, we're gonna go to the shrine, go to uh, offering, sell our weapons and armor for more Emerita and Elixir. And if you have any stones in your inventory, use them as much as possible. And then we're gonna go to level up and we're gonna increase our skill to plus two. And in the next video, the final mission is The Last Samurai, and we're going to be fighting four bosses on this one. And I hope this video has helped you out.